Aloha, how y'all doing today? Uh, this is William, and uh, we'll talk a bit today about system boards and what those are, and um, kind of just gives you some ideas of what goes on what, uh, inside the computer. And it's pretty cool. Uh, you know, they designed the uh, system boards now, so you got a lot of interchangeable parts. So that helps, you know, if, if one part breaks down and then you have to, you know, you can, you can get a spare part and just put it in there. So it's, um, it's pretty good, a modular design. Okay, so they use that a lot in, in designing many different things, including uh, coding um, programs. So when you take a, a software class, such as uh, ICS 111 or ICS 211 or ICS 212, um, then you learn these kind of things. So how to make a the program itself, these little modules, these little methods, and if one method doesn't quite work, you can fix it up and then everything hopefully works a lot better. Okay, but uh, we'll talk today again about hardware, okay, and uh, motherboard, uh, the system boards, and let's see uh, what we have next here. Okay, so we'll start off with uh, just an image here of the system board. So this is the kind of thing I'm talking about. Uh, green plastic and lots of uh, weird little rectangular stuff. Round stuff too in there, I guess, yeah. All right, so let's see what, what's in here. What's going on, what's going on, okay. So another name for the system board. Uh, we also call it the main board, all right. Um, and then uh, sometimes uh, referred to as the motherboard and then more recently referring to this as the parent board, all right. So, well, what? Okay, well, that's great. We know what it's called. So what, uh, what are we going to use it for? Okay, so this is where all the communication is going on inside the computer. So it's how uh, everything is controlled, everything's put together on this one, uh, one system board, and uh, we have all these different parts that uh, communicate, collaborate, um, and hopefully get along okay. And um, also, you know, they're all different little components that we can replace and, and um, that kind of thing. Okay, so our next part here, let's talk a little bit more about it. So it's the main printed uh, circuit board uh, in many of the computers. And, um, you know, we got these acronyms, PCB, so printed circuit board. And... Um, so what's in there? Okay, you got the CPU. Oh, man, another acronym. Okay, so Central Processing Unit. Uh, you have the memory. Okay, so that's going to store the running uh, programs. And then a lot of other components. Okay, so other components. So, you know, you're thinking about things like the keyboard. Okay, when you're typing on the keyboard, those signals go in to the, to the um, computer. And it's got to send that to be processed. Um, so things like that, and then what output, right? So you have a screen, and then you know those signals get processed and get sent to the screen. Okay, but main thing: CPU, memory, and then input and output. Okay, if you don't have input and output, it's kind of hard to to know what's going on, right? Okay, so that's that was more about the system board. Let's see what else we have in store for y'all. Okay, so basically everything in your computer connects to this one board. And I kind of spoke about this already, but it's going to monitor the data and communication. Uh, again, I guess uh, I didn't mention was, you know, even signals coming in from the uh, internet. Okay, so you got a connection for that uh, as well. Okay, so let's get some more details here about our system board. And there's... Uh, yeah, there's some common features. Okay, it's going to depend on a desktop or a laptop or cell phone, that kind of stuff. But some common things we have are, are the sockets, and we'll talk a bit more in detail uh, on the next few slides. We also have chips. Uh, we have uh, what's called the slots. And then also bus lines. Okay, so uh, we'll, again, we'll talk a bit more about this on the next couple of slides and even on the next uh, class next lecture we'll talk a bit more about buses okay so let's mosey on then to the sockets and with the sockets 
Okay, so these are the connection points for your chips. And um, you can insert these chips into the circuit board without soldering. So uh, it's really easy to you know, switch off with different chips. And um, again, they're, they're trying to move to a more modular design. And another reason for that too is you know, these different parts are made in different parts of the world. Okay, so maybe uh, what your CPU is made in Malaysia or I don't know, your, your whatever other chips you have. So that's made in you know, maybe Japan and then maybe your bus lines are made over in uh, Europe somewhere. So, you know, they, the company is now international, so they, they try to find the cheapest place to make these things and then bring them all together and then boom, 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 just kind of snap them all into your, your circuit board and bang, you know, you got yourself a nice computer. All right, so let's see some more uh, details on these things. So next here, we'll talk a little bit about chips. And so it's a tiny plate of electronic circuits, basically. And usually made of uh, silicon, some kind of semiconductor material. And um, you know, it's got billions and billions of transistors. Okay, so um, I don't know if you've seen uh, older uh, photographs of computers or transistors, for that matter. But you know, they're, they, transistors used to be about the size of your thumb or so. Um, so they, these days, yeah, you can put you know, billions of these on these chips that are pretty tiny. Uh, so pretty cool, the advances we've made with the computer technology. Um, you know, and then you know, computers just take up a whole rooms. And now you, know, you can have it on your, on your palm and you know, get your thumb sore from clicking around too much, right? Uh, okay, so let's see the next, next, uh, next slide here. All right, so a little bit more on the chips here. Some other, other names for these, uh, we might call it a silicon chip, or a semiconductor, or a integrated circuit, okay? So you got all these uh, different names for the same thing. Hmm. Okay, so a, a few more uh, parts of the mother, motherboard, or the, the, the parent board we'll talk about here. Let's see. So another thing is slots. So these are the connection points for specialized cards. And uh, usually they have a specific task, okay, and, and you know, called expansion card as well. Um, so that they're for a certain task. Um, so you might want faster video, better sound. Uh, you might also want some kind of wireless internet connection. Uh, I know usually they're built in. And those are also called expansion slots, okay. But it's just a way to, what, um, kind of put more uh, things in your computer. So you might want to, um, what, if you're really into music, you might want to upgrade your music stuff and you know, use the slots for that. Or uh, you know, if you're doing some kind of cool animation stuff, uh, you might have you know, some kind of special processor for that. You've got to plug that in as well. So um, this just allows your computer to be more flexible. Okay, so one more uh, thing that we'll cover today. And the next part here is uh, the bus line. Okay, so you usually think of bus, you think of the school bus come pick you up in the morning, right? So uh, these are wires, uh, kind of more back in the uh, older technology were wires, and now we just kind of say connections. Okay, so it'll be a little part of the, um, the uh, circuit board there. And it transfers data from one computer com component to another. And sometimes we just call this a bus. Okay? So, but these are great. Um, so you got all these different parts of your computer, and somehow they have to communicate. Okay? So that's what they call it, the bus. You got to get on the bus. Your data gets on the bus, and then your data uh, goes to other parts of the computer. But um, you know, each part is specialized, so you got to, you know, um, connect those points together, and that's called bus line or bus in this case. Okay, so I think that'll uh, do it for today, and we'll see y'all a little later. All right. Aloha.